Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel, it's Lonnie. Today I'm bringing you something brand new to the channel, I've never done this before and I've also never uh, done something like this in The Sims 4 either. Today I'm bringing you a speed build and not only that, it's actually a speed build of my in real life apartment. I'm just building the floor plan of the apartment and uh, because we can't edit apartments in um, The Sims 4, I've decided to go ahead and make it into a house instead of an apartment in The Sims 4. I know you can kind of like mess around with the walls and stuff inside of an apartment, um, but you can't like actually build like the exterior of it. So I thought I'd go ahead and make my apartment into a house. So here I'm just trying to figure out the layout of the kitchen because my kitchen um, in real life is kind of like a 3.5 times 4. Um, um, however, you can't have like half walls in that aspect. So I had to go with a 3.4 and make it slightly smaller than in real life. And here I'm just making the living room um, slash study slash um, dining room. It's an open planned room sort of thing. So I went ahead and choose uh, the doors that I want in for my apartment. The doors are slightly weird, especially the front door. It's a bit of a weird one for a house, but remember, it's an apartment in real life. But I wanted to kind of stay faithful to my actual real life apartment, so I kind of went with a university um, dorm door, which it looks it looks nice. I like it. It's not too bad. And then I went ahead and put in some plain windows because these are the same windows that I have in real life as well and also a back door uh, which i have um in real life uh but it doesn't go into like a back garden it just kind of opens up to get some fresh air into the room and kind of has like a little barricade to stop you from like falling out um so yeah but i thought i'd put a backyard in the sims 4 because it's quite nice i wish i had a garden and then on to uh the uh, paint on the walls and the carpets. It was quite easy to do this because I have the same paint um, throughout the whole apartment except for the bathrooms. Uh, just this like off-white colour throughout. And then the bathrooms have this kind of brownie tile um, with um, paint as well. Um, and then in the ensuite of the master bedroom it's complete tile. And then moving on to flooring, I went with this laminated flooring, um, which I have through the entire apartment. And then the bedrooms, I have these cream carpets and then this kind of like black lino flooring. Um, but I think it's kind of like, um, it's I think it's rock material when this one's for, because the lino choices were a bit poor. Uh, then I started um, on the master bedroom. Went with the uh, nice seasons bed with the um, nice big back. That's what I have um, in my bedroom with these Ikea-esque bedside tables. They, it's kind of weird. It's literally exactly the same as what I have um, in real life. And then finish this off with a washing basket. And then I'm messing around with some toys here, shrinking them down and stuff. Because I actually have Pokemon in my bedroom here. Um, of course, Sims doesn't have Pokemon. So I kind of made Pokemon in The Sims. Um, which I thought was quite funny. And then I have two um, walk-in wardrobes as well. Which I nicely integrated into the walls of the apartment. I thought they looked really cool. Moving on to the ensuite. Nothing special here. Just a toilet, sink, and then shower, cubicle. Um, don't forget the toilet paper, of course and um, the towel holder as well. Trying to mess around with um, mirrors here, I was trying to find a medicine cabinet. Um, the one I decided to go with is not actually a medicine cabinet, but it looks very similar to a medicine cabinet, so I was kind of happy with the style of it. And then also opposite the medicine cabinet, I have another mirror. Um, so I decided to go with this nice white one, which I really like. And then trying to find a nice uh, shower cubicle, which didn't have the shower on the left-hand side, or on the right-hand side, because that's what I have in real life, unfortunately. They don't have that in The Sims 4, it's only on the left-hand side. So, oh well. And then here I'm just putting in the uh, debug cheat because I have two rooms here, uh, very small rooms on the left and the right of the door. The one on the left is actually a boiler room. Um, it's where the boiler is for the apartment. Um, pretty useless in The Sims 4, but I wanted to stay genuine to my real life apartment. So I thought I'd put it in anyway because it's quite quirky. 
so I'm just searching through debug to try and find like a generator or something that looks similar to kind of like a boiler. Um, I did I manage to find one that I really liked and then I just shrunk it down to kind of fit inside the room. And then on the right hand side is actually a storage cupboard. It's where I keep all my spare towels or my cleaning supplies, um, my reusable bags for the supermarket. Uh, just things like that. So I went ahead and put some laundry day stuff in um, there as well. Some shelving. I added a washing basket to the master bedroom, um, which I sometimes have because I'm always doing laundry. And then also a hand towel for the bathroom as well. So yeah, I added some laundry day stuff to the, um, the kind of uh, storage cupboard and a coat rack as well and then in the little boiler room i added some shelves um which i put um cluster items on um, i do have this in real life um it seemed a little bit pointless to do for the sims 4 because with the walls semi down and um, you actually don't see the shelves at all um but i thought it was quite a nice touch you know they're there it's quite it looks very lived in it's cute i liked it but i was kind of struggling with finding items which to actually got on these shelves because it's very small space but eventually I put some knickknack items there. Then just to rearrange the um, storage cupboard. Um, and I really love these boxes from Get to Work. I've been using them a lot in my gameplay. They just look like kind of like just cluster items. They just really look really nice. I don't know. I like them. I really like them for storage anyway. And then moving on to the spare room. I went with the season's bed because the bed in real life that I have in the spare room doesn't have a back to it. So I kind of use moved objects on to move it into the wall. So it looks like the bed doesn't have a headrest. Messing around with blinds here. The blinds in the Sims 4 absolutely suck. So eventually I decided not to use any blinds at all. Now in the spare room, the wardrobes in the spare room um, go from the floor to the ceiling. They're kind of built in wardrobes again. Um, but there's nothing in the Sims 4 which kind of mimic the style that I have in the spare room. Except for these Get Famous wardrobes. The only two things which aren't um, exactly right is the gold trim on the wardrobes. They're completely uh, white in real life. And also there's a lot of shoes on these wardrobes. It, it looks like a complete like shoe rack. And that's not the case in real life either. But I did the best I could. Then I went back and um, edited the lighting in the master room, uh, put a chandelier in the bedrooms and also some uh, lamps on the bedside tables. And then I went around the rest of the apartment, uh, taking, out the, uh, prior, taking out the temporary lighting and replacing them with spotlights, which is what I actually have in the, most, uh, in the majority of the apartment. Now moving on to the master uh, bathroom. Pretty similar to the ensuite. Actually, I used all the same stuff because I was really happy with how it looked. Um, and then I went ahead and put a shower bath combo in there. So if you guys download this from the gallery, you can go ahead and wash your toddlers in there. Um, it's really annoying that you can't use a shower cubicle to wash toddlers because I hate shower and bath combos. They're so bloody annoying. Um, moving on to the kitchen now, I use a mostly cool kitchen stuff pack in here. I really like the kitchen set that we got with that pack. Um, just kind of messing around with the counters and making sure that it all looks similar to what I have in real life. Popping in my fridge. Um, what was I doing here with laundry state? Oh yeah, I was looking for the washing machine. We actually have our washing machine and uh, dryer in the kitchen in um, houses in the UK or in like the bathroom. So I thought it was quite nice to put that into the Sims because it's very American in the Sims and they don't really do that. They normally have like a laundry room, but we don't really have that in in England. Um, so um, yeah, just adding in some cabinets in the kitchen to make it look uh, lived in and kind of cluttered. I like how small it is in the kitchen and then I put a bin on the outside of the kitchen because it's quite small in there and that's where I actually have my bin um, in real life. I did the extractor fan, a microwave as well and then just kind of cluttered the um, kitchen with various um, household stuff, kitchen roll, dishes, detergent and things like that. I added a coffee machine also. Um, yeah I really liked how this house turned out. It kind of um, made me laugh because I looked back once I finished um, creating it I was like wow my my house is now in The Sims 4. Uh, it's kind of like almost like really uncanny uh, that my real life apartment is now in The Sims 4 because uh, I think it's really accurate. Um, my apartment isn't very decorated as well it's very kind of like sparse. Um, there's I didn't really miss out quite like, a lot to be honest with you 
um but yeah it's um you guys can kind of mess around with that if you need it to adapt to your playstyle in the sims 4 as well uh, moving on to the study dining room and living room combo i have this really big black wooden table that came with the apartment and i just push it against the wall to give us some room i only really use it for uh when visitors come around and stuff so we can all eat together normally i just eat on the sofa because i'm lazy and i like to relax um of course i got bills on the dining room table we always always have bills um so i thought that was a nice added touch and then again i was messing around with these get to work boxes because next to my computer desk i actually have this like plastic uh tower tupperware storage stuff but we don't have anything that like that in the sims so i added these boxes but i eventually got rid of them because i didn't like how it looked Now adding my computer desk to the living room, the one that I'm actually sitting at right now on my nice big gaming chair, added my PC and I messed around with these TVs as well to kind of make it look like I've got dual monitor computer, which I have in real life. Um, weird flex, sorry. <laughs> but I was really proud of myself that I kind of made it look like I've got like two monitors in The Sims 4. It was a nice touch. And you actually can sit at the desk and watch TV as well, which is really nice. And then also uh, there's another uh, dual screen computer and desk and chair here, which belongs to the uh, person I live with. Um, so they have their computer there and they just use a dining room chair um, at their desk. So they don't have a gaming computer. Then I also have an L-shaped sofa, which kind of corners off the living room part of the main uh, room of the apartment. Unfortunately, we don't have L-shaped sofas in um, The Sims 4, unless I don't have the pack, I'm not sure. But I kind of messed around with like move objects on and kind of made an L-shaped sofa, but it didn't look right. Um, so I decided to just go ahead and position them like so. Then again, I moved the books to the desk and then got rid of those stupid boxes um, because it did, just didn't look right. And then I was just kind of messing around with the size of the room. Um, I thought I made the room too big, but I actually positioned the windows incorrect. Um, in real life, they're actually not centered because of something I'll move on to in a second. I'll tell you why. So the windows are purposely off center here but um yeah it looks a bit weird but it should be okay here's my potted plant her name is marge i have her in her life and because of this empty space i decided to give myself another marge and then i have a built-in tv cabinet in the uh, corner of the room this is why it doesn't look off center in real life and it actually doesn't really look off center now in the sims it looks a lot better um, so I added a coffee table to the middle of the room, some candles, and I have my laptop on the table as well in the living room. Um, but you can't put a laptop on the coffee table in The Sims 4, so I decided to replace it with a la uh, with a iPad. Which, um, I think turned out pretty good. I liked it. And then I'm just messing around with corner cabinets. Um, we don't have any built-in corner cabinets in The Sims 4, so I just got a coffee table which looked very similar to what I have in real life. Positioned it in the corner of the um living room and then put my nice tv on the uh coffee table messing around with decor now i don't have really any pictures in my apartment but i do have a lot of posters for video games and animes and movies and whatnot so i really enjoyed messing around with different posters that we have in the sims 4 and i really liked how it turned out it makes me like gives me like kind of like a student uh vibe of the apartment which i really really like I also decided to mess around with trying to find like family photos because I have family photos above my computer desk. Unfortunately, and to my surprise, The Sims 4 doesn't actually have a lot of family photos. Um, so it, you'll see here in just a second, I decided to go with these like canvases on the wall, uh, which I thought was a nice um, adaptation to the apartment. I really liked them. I'd have them in real life. They were really good. So I'm done with the interior designing now. So I just try to position the house a little bit more better. And I decided to go with this brick on the outside of the house. Because similar to what I have in real life, my apartment. Um, normally I wouldn't build houses with one colour on the outside. But it's an apartment. It's literally what I have in real life. So I thought I'd stick to what I have. Um, and then I decided to build a front garden. Um, I don't have a front garden in real life. But because I'm making my apartment into a house in The Sims 4, I decided it would be a nice touch to add a front garden and then just put some plants around it to make it look very nice. 
when you guys download this house you can go ahead and uh, redesign the gardens to your liking put some skill building items in there if you wish I just kind of finished off with some nice plants from romantic garden stuff because I really like those plants so much I use them in all my builds now I really really love them And then I thought the outside of the house looked a bit sparse, so I got these flowered hedges and decided to use move objects on and um, lined the house with uh, these hedges all the way around to give it a little bit more character. Um, and I really liked how it came out in the end as well. Finally, I moved on to the back garden. Again, I don't have a back garden in real life, but I do have those doors that I explained, uh, but they don't really go anywhere. Um, just kind of gets fresh air. So I decided in The Sims to give myself a back garden. Again, just decorate it with flowers. I also put a washing line in here as well, which I don't show in the video because I forgot that I didn't have anywhere to dry the clothes in The Sims for. Um, so I put a washing line in there later on as well, which you'll have when you download the house. So I was looking at the outside of the house and I was kind of decided that it still looked a bit bland. So I did actually go ahead and decide to put more windows in the front of the house, which I don't have in real life. But I thought it was a really nice addition um, in The Sims 4. It gives the house a little bit more character to look at from the outside. Um, so even though I don't have them in real life, I really enjoyed the um, addition. So I just went ahead and saved here and decided to go into create a sim to just make a random sim and add them to the household just to kind of make sure the house was playable and everything worked as I expected. So I'm going to go ahead and skip this bit and jump to some screenshots of the house and we'll talk through each room separately. Okay, so here we are um, looking at the outside of the house with the nice bushes going around the outside and also the front garden um as i said before you can use this space to um put skill building items in there or however you would please when you download the house um so i purposely made it slightly generic so you guys can go ahead and edit it as well moving on to the master bedroom i really enjoyed building this i really liked how it turned out as well i love the double wardrobes um, and also the little touches you can't see in the picture, like the little Pokemon on the floor. I thought that was so cute. And also the washing basket and the hamper as well makes it look very lived in. Um, I really like that. Um, the decoration is quite sparse. Um, and that's kind of like what I have in real life as well. Because obviously I don't own my own apartment, so I can't really decorate a whole lot. Um, so yeah, I just don't really bother to be honest with you. <laughs> Moving on to the ensuite bathroom, uh, pretty standard, small, um, it's got exactly what you need to be honest with you, um, nice mirrors. Something that I forgot to add, which I'm just noticing now actually, is that in my ensuite I have like blue rugs on the floor so the water doesn't get all everywhere um, and I forgot to add that. So if you guys want to download the house and make sure to add um, a nice blue rug to go in that room if you want to. Moving on to the spare room, um, again, not hugely decorated and it's the same um, in real life as well because I don't use this room. I kind of use it as like a laundry room actually, um, except for when people come and stay to visit me. So if you guys don't need an extra bedroom, you can actually go ahead and just delete the items in this room and turn it into a study or you can turn it into a nursery. I think the nursery would be really, really cute, actually. A place for the toddlers and the kids. Um, that would be really cute. So um, I left it kind of blank um, to kind of meet what my apartment looks like as well. But also for you guys to kind of edit and play around with yourself and make it your own. Here is the master bathroom. I'm really happy with how this came out. Doesn't look exactly the same um, as the bathroom I have in real life. The um, the white walls actually have the brown tiles on the bottom half, but unfortunately I couldn't implement that in The Sims. And also something that really annoyed me is that bath and shower combos in The Sims 4 absolutely suck. Um, and the white tiles of the bathtub is, are covering the actual tiles of the bathroom, which is super annoying. Um, but yeah, there's not a lot we can do because we don't really have a lot of choices for bath and shower combos, which to be honest, I don't really care about because um, they're just an annoying item anyway. And I don't really use them to be honest with you. 
Moving on to the kitchen of the house. Um, I really liked how this came out. Um, however, I really would have liked to clutter it a little bit more. Unfortunately, the clutter items that I have in real life, I don't have in The Sims. For example, I have like an air fryer, which we don't have in The Sims. I have a kettle, which we don't have in The Sims. How dumb is that? Like you had a kettle in um, The Sims 3 um, or like a teapot. Um, but we have one in The Sims but it's like a steampunk teapot it looks awful so i decided not to include it anyway and if i did it would go on the counter by the fridge and that's the actually only usable counter in this kitchen so i didn't want to use that otherwise the sims wouldn't be able to prepare their food um but overall i really enjoyed the way this um kitchen came out Moving on to my favourite room of my apartment and also the, my favourite room of my Sims 4 version of my apartment is the dining room, study and living room combo with a special guest, Marge, my potted plant. Love her. I'm looking at her right now. She's amazing. I love her so much. Um, yeah, really happy this came out. It looks amazing. It looks, it literally looks like my living room. It's crazy um if you guys haven't tried building your real life house in the sims literally go and do it it's so uncanny it's amazing um uh, it's so cute um and just another screenshot here from the living room um i like the screenshot a lot better you can see it a little bit more and like the working space and then also the chill space where i eat dinner um yeah i'm just really happy how my apartment came out and you guys can play in my apartment um, in the sims as well now if you want to you can find all like the download links in the uh, description of this video um, or you can go on to the gallery and just search the hashtag Lonnie sims which is also be in the description one thing i do need to say though is if you wish to download this house or any of my builds that i do in the future or have already done please go ahead and make sure that you tick custom content um i don't use custom content in any of my builds however if you don't tick the custom content enable custom content um you won't find my builds um i don't know why it's just the way the gallery is um i can't really figure out how to do it without ticking custom content um so yes please make sure that you tick allow custom content if you wish to download my builds otherwise you will not find them and that about wraps up the speedball guys so i just want to go ahead and say thank you so much for watching please make sure you leave a like comment and subscribe for future content please show your support you guys have been amazing so far open the description below to follow me on twitter and also download the apartment and yeah have an amazing day afternoon or night wherever you are guys and have a great weekend i will see you on tuesday for more house flipper challenge but until then guys take care Bye.